what is up guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about why you should not use the cyber truck car model in fortnite and in this video i'm going to be going over gameplay reasons only none of this is going to be personal problems that i have with you know whoever this is only gameplay reasons why this car is a dis disadvantage to use in game as always if you guys do find this video to be helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below if you're going to be using the cyber truck car model because some of this is personal preference and it can be an advantage or a disadvantage depending on how you look at it. But one clear disadvantage is that there is currently a glitch where sometimes when you get into the cyber truck, you are no longer able to use nitro gauntlets for the remainder of the match. I had this happen to me several times today when I tried to use it. Um, I used it in two matches and in both matches, as soon as I entered a cyber truck, I was no longer able to use my nitro gauntlets. It like glitches out when I would try to use them, whether I use the uppercut or the regular version. Couldn't use the gloves at all. And this is while I was streaming on Twitch. And I basically offered in chat, like, I'll give V-Bucks to anybody who finds a potential solution. And every solution that chat recommended didn't work. I, like dropping the gloves and picking them back up didn't work. Getting a different pair of gloves didn't work. Going from the purple to the mythic gloves didn't work. Hitting a rift, getting into a normal car, emoting. None of this worked. I, I think just in general, there is a problem where if you enter the cyber truck, you might not be able to use gloves for the remainder of the game. Fortnite status has replied to people on Twitter and said that they're aware of this or they're looking into the potential problem of this. So it's possible that it's fixed as of the time you're watching this video. If Fortnite removes the cyber truck to, because of this problem or ends up fixing the problem, I will comment down below in the comments and make a pinned comment letting you know that this has changed. Uh, from my experience, like I said, both matches I played and got into the truck, I just couldn't use my gloves anymore. I did do some things in a custom match after I was done streaming. And for some reason in that custom match, I was able to use my gauntlets after getting in the car. But I later got into it again at a different point and got back out. And then from that point on, I wasn't able to use the gauntlets. So it doesn't seem like it's a 100% guarantee if you get into the cyber truck, you can't use it. But it seems like it's a potential chance that if you get into the cyber truck, you won't be able to use your nitro gauntlets anymore. Um, and this was, seems to be happening regardless of platform. I had several people tell me it was happening to them that were on console. I play on PC. So yeah, it seems like it's not a platform thing. There's just a random chance if you get into a cyber truck, you can't use gloves for the remainder of the game. So that is a clear disadvantage. And I don't know if there's any way that you can swing that where it isn't a disadvantage, you know? These other things, I think, are much more open to interpretation. Um, but I'm going to say why I think these differences between the Cybertruck and the base SUV model are a disadvantage for the Cybertruck. The first is going to be that there's no back passenger seats. And if you try to get into the back passenger seat, you're just on the car, uh, sitting on the back of it. And so if you're playing squads and trying to drive around with, you know, four people in one car... That is a problem because those people are going to be much easier for enemies to get damage on than if they were in the car, you know? Uh, but this also makes it to where you can't do the pickaxe trick from the back seats. If you guys don't know the pickaxe trick, I have a different video about it that'll be linked down in the description below. But basically, you just hold your pickaxe swing button as you enter the car, keep that button held, and then look at the person in the car you want to pickaxe. With the regular SUV, you could do this no problem if you're in the back seats. But with the Cybertruck, since you're on the outside, you can't do the pickaxe trick to them. And that's why I was saying this can be a pro or a con depending on how you look at it. If you're someone that really likes using the cars, then maybe the fact that people can't do the pickaxe trick to you is ideal, especially because if you you can't do this when the seat has a turret associated with it. So if you had a cyber truck with a turret, they wouldn't be able to do the pickaxe trick to you at all. So if you are someone that really likes using the cars, and really likes using the car as a weapon and wants less potential for people to like have options to play against you then the lack of pickaxe trick might be uh, a pro to you but to me it's a con because i like going for the pickaxe trick i like fighting people getting them like a lot of times when you get someone weak they'll just try to jump in the car and get away and so if you're fighting around a car and you get them weak and they try to get away being able to go to the pickaxe trick to potentially eliminate that person or force them out of the car and extend the fight is much better than them just being able to drive away i think so like the more cars around me that the pickaxe trick is available to i think is better uh so i wouldn't want to be making 
cars into cyber trucks and then making them you know less convenient for me to do the pickaxe check on that's why i think it's a disadvantage but i get this is open to interpretation also when i'm driving one of the things i really want or like what's great to happen i think is when an enemy gets in the car with you and then you can just hop out and then beam them and, and like it's very easy to hit headshots on the base suv model because of like the height of the car and the person in the passenger seat it's very easy to just you know melt them with headshots especially with the thunderburst but any spray weapon works great for this and so anytime i'm driving a car near somebody if they get in i just stop or slow down get out and then start beaming them and even if they do react just one burst of a thunderburst smg all to the opponent's head is a game changing amount of damage for them if they were weak this might be enough to get the elimination but even if they were full hp that's a great way for that that fight to start for you and then they're probably going to get out of the car and then you can keep fighting them maybe they'll get in get out and then get back in and then you can just do the pickaxe trick to them or something so i really like being able to set up my passenger seats for easy eliminations when people do get into the car and since the back passenger seats on the cyber truck are on the outside of the car the angle isn't just as free to just get guaranteed headshots with like the angle isn't as good and this person is already gonna have their weapon out whereas when you're in a base suv the passengers can take their weapon out and shoot at you but they have to like do they have to aim down sights and then do the animation of like breaking through the window with their head and then hanging outside the car you know they don't already have their weapon out just ready to return fire the moment you like shoot them and like i said one thunderburst smg burst can be a game changer in those situations so the little time it might take for them to realize they need to aim in and then do that animation can often just get them eliminated or really tip the odds of the fight in your favor but with the cyber truck if they're on the back it's a worse angle for you just to jump out and start shooting at them i think like much worse um and they already have their gun out so they're able to return fire right away so personally i, I think this is another disadvantage for the cyber truck but you may see this as a pro just depending on how you look at things or maybe you don't really play like this and that doesn't really matter to you and that's fine as well um but i i think this is a pretty clear disadvantage you might argue that being able to get on the back of the car and then just spray the car while attached to it makes it easier to destroy cars. And I think that is somewhat true. But I think you also set yourself up for an easy elimination on the enemy. If you're just spraying out your spray weapon onto the car and then they get out and start shooting you while you're reloading, that's probably a fight that isn't going to go very well for you. So I wouldn't really want to sit on the back of the, the cyber truck and just start unloading on it like that because I think you do really make yourself an easy target. Um, so that's that that's an aspect of it, but I don't view that as a positive. The cyber truck is also larger than the SUV, which is nice if you want to use it as cover, but I think this also makes it easier for people to shoot your car, hit you with the MPs, hit you with the magneto, things of that nature, you know. I also feel like the windshield is larger on the cyber truck, so it might be a bit easier for people to shoot you if you're driving at them. Uh, I'll have them side by side on screen right now, and I might just be crazy, and maybe this isn't that big of a deal. It probably isn't, but I do feel like the windshield is larger on the Cybertruck. Um, but like I've said, most of this will come down to preference and how you want to use the car. So if you're someone that really wants to use your car as a weapon uh, and get a lot of kills that way, the Cybertruck might be, you know, an upgrade for you over the base SUV model because people maybe won't be able to do the pickaxe trick to you if you already have a turret on uh and you know depending on what you do when somebody gets in your car or how much you want that to happen that will also kind of impact your view of this like those things are really up in the air i think and it just comes down to preference for me and how i play i think the cyber truck is a clear disadvantage but regardless of how you play the fact that there's a bug where you just aren't able to use nitro gauntlets for the remainder of the game sometimes after getting in the car is a pretty big disadvantage there's probably going to be a few people out there that say they don't use the nitro gauntlets and so it doesn't matter to them and you know for you that's great but for a lot of people i think the nitro gauntlets are probably your favorite mobility item and one of the best items in the game so using a car model that prevents you from using that item is a pretty big disadvantage and that's why i think pretty much everyone just shouldn't use the cyber truck model let me know down in the comments below what you think of this if you're still going to use it uh and like i said if there's an update provided from Fortnite, whether it's that they fixed this or that they, you know, vaulted this, the Cybertruck until they're able to fix it, I'll let you guys know down on, in the pinned comment. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more.
and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.